Hi, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. Yes, there has been a channel name change. I am growing and expanding at a volume that I just, it just overwhelms me. It just amazes me. And it was a, like a now or never kind of thing. And I just want to be able to expand my channel in the future to reach people that aren't um, necessarily seeking tarot card readings. So I just wanted to go ahead and change the name now while I'm setting up this whole new, this whole new outlet for my channel. But don't worry, everything will be the same. This is still Taurus Star Tarot and you can still call me that if you want to. But the official name of the channel is now Deep Thoughts with Dana. So you're in the right place. You're with the right person. It's just a different name. That's all. Okay. If you'd like a personal tarot card reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Okay. You come into this reading right here with the Princess of Wands, right? So this Princess of Wands tells me, based on the rest of these cards and the intuitive feeling that I get from this reading, okay? This Princess of Wands is all about um, pessimism, right? A, a sense of uh, just like, like setbacks to new ideas, right? In regards to the Six of Wands, in regards to... Um, in regards to progress, right, in, in, in this particular situation. So there's, there's setbacks with the Princess of Wands, right? A little bit of pessimism with the Six of Wands in regards to um, victory and progress and self-confidence in this situation. Ten of Swords comes in and tells me that you have a fear of ruin in this particular situation. The emperor tells me that perhaps you feel a little bit out of control with the ace of cups telling me that you're having overwhelming emotions, right? Don't really know how to handle what you're feeling right here. The ten of cups tells me that there is a misalignment of values in this situation in regards to balance and priorities, right? Maybe this situation isn't prioritizing you the way that you think it should be. Perhaps this situation is you're not prioritizing something the way that it needs to be prioritized. Because the Five of Pentacles comes in and says somebody feels left out in the cold. King of Pentacles comes in and relates to me that this is all about your feelings of security, control, power, discipline, and abundance in a very important relationship in your life. Could be love, could be family, could be business, could be anything, right? But it's a very important emotional relationship in your life. The Prince of Wands to the Queen of Wands. The Prince of Wands talks to us about frustration delays and frustration, either self-imposed delays or environmental delays that are causing frustration for you. The Queen of Wands tells me that, um, uh, that uh, m maybe, okay, so in the upright, the Queen of Wands is about exuberance, warmth, vibrancy, determination, success, right? On the flip side, this Queen of Wands is about a shrinking violet, right? Um, just kind of feeling, just kind of sucking into yourself and feeling powerless, okay? That's a, that's a really good, that's a good definition, powerless. So we have the Prince of Wands telling us that there is frustration and the Queen of Wands telling us that you feel powerless, right? Three of Swords comes in and tells us that there is some sorrow in this situation. Heartbreak, sorrow, grief. Five of Wands talks about there being conflict, either internal conflict or environmental conflict, but never the way, it's never the way, nevertheless, it's about disagreements, competition, strife, tension, and conflict, whether it's external or internal in regards to the Two of Cups, in regards to love, 
partnerships or relationships in your life, which goes right back to the lover's card, right? This whole scenario right here is about a very important relationship in your life. The King of Cups tells me that you have feelings of, of maybe emotional instability covered by the Ten of Pentacles tells me that you are, are <sighs> the emotional instability is directly related to your future foundation, the future of this relationship, okay? The future of this relationship. The Nine of Cups tells us that there is dissatisfaction in this relationship because of your feelings of, of major insecurity, your feelings of insecurity, your feelings of in inevitable ruin, your frustration, the delays, dissatisfaction, right? Princess of Pentacles comes in and tells me that there is a lack of progress in this situation or the progress is too slow for your liking in this situation. In regards to the Six of Cups, which tells me that you're stuck in the past, clarified by the devil, right? This is self-disparaging thoughts, some kind of toxicity. So in this relationship where you have this great amount of insecurity and conflict going on, Either something has happened prior to this reading that is giving you these feelings of insecurity or with the Six of Cups being stuck in the past, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. I retract that last statement. So for some reason, there's something that happened in this relationship in the past that has you... Um, that, that creates a blockage for you, right, Gemini? It creates a blockage for you. It makes you feel hesitant and defensive. This is going to create a tower moment for you. A tower moment where there is some kind of an epiphany, a revelation, an awakening of some sort. I really don't feel like it's sudden change, upheaval, or chaos, right? This is even a card about a, a personal transformation that gives you strength to see clearly information or communication about the injustice that you're holding on to from the past that leaves you with feelings of insecurity, that leaves you feeling like you're left out in the cold or you were left out in the cold, right? The, the heartbreak, the sorrow, the grief, the conflict, the dissatisfaction, the, the emotional insecurity about what the future will bring. So the justice card tells us that there will be justice applied to a situation where there was injustice, or dishonesty, or some kind of a lack of accountability. This justice, right, which holding a sword in one hand and the scales of justice in the other hand, makes me think that this is about communication. So there's going to be some kind of communication that balances the scales of justice in this situation. And it brings you to the star card, which is a feeling of hope faith, purpose, and renewal in this relationship. The outcome cards that I've pulled is the death. There is an ending to the way things used to be. There's a transformation and a transition about the way that you about the way that you feel about this relationship in regards to justice being applied, some kind of truth being spoken that leads to hope, faith, purpose, and renewal down the road. So there's an ending, a change, a transition in this relationship because of a judgment call that you have made, 
a decision based on communication in regards to the injustice. There's a decision that you make that changes the trajectory of this relationship. A decision that was a decision that was made while doing some soul searching, right? Some introspection, seeking some guidance. And this communication that came into you put you into the hermit energy. And you just sat for a minute and you weighed everything and you disseminated the information. And you reevaluated how you feel about this relationship. You thought about the conflict that's involved, right? Whether it's internal or external. You contemplated in the hermit energy the way you feel about the relationship in regards to conflict that has that has that is residual with this death card and the being stuck in the past with the six six of cups right it's residual conflict betrayal maybe but you're thinking about all of it you're thinking about your feelings of insecurity and how you felt or feel left out in the cold you come out of this hermit energy with mental clarity because there has been communication right? With the justice card, there's been communication that sent you into the hermit mode in the first place. That's causing an ending, a change, a transformation in this relationship. You come out of this hermit mode with a mental breakthrough, absolute mental clarity and mental victory. And you decide that you are going to go forward with an inspired, powerful, creative new beginning in this whole relationship with the Nine of Cups being wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. So the gist of this reading, my gems, and I love calling you guys that because you are, you're just gems of the Zodiac, right? So the, 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 the message of this reading is that you are in the middle of some kind of very important relationship that is causing you a lot of insecurity, a lot of insecurity, this relationship, for whatever reason, lacks balance and prioritization, and you feel left out in the cold. You, you, the bottom line is that you feel very insecure about this relationship. For whatever reason, there's conflict, internal or external, and it leaves you with grief and sorrow and um, maybe even a little bit of heartbreak, right? Dissatisfaction. Well, you're holding on to something from the past, that is blocking forward movement in the relationship. You're holding on to something in the past that is, that is creating a lack of progress in the relationship. It makes you feel hesitant and defensive. But justice creates a sense of clarity for you. There's some kind of communication that clears up all of this and it invokes a feeling of hope, faith, renewal, and purpose in this relationship for you. It creates a death an ending a change and a transformation of what was into what will be. Much thought in the hermit energy about your insecurities, about the conflict, about the way that you feel, and about going forward into an inspired new beginning in this relationship, right? And, and if this relationship is existing, it doesn't mean that you're going to have a new relationship. It just means that you're rectifying all of the feelings that you had based on some kind of communication that clears everything up, right? gives you mental clarity, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. And you're going to move on down the road with the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. So there you go, Gems. That is your reading. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste, my friends.